Next game is putting the bishops on the board. The bishops go right next to the king. These are magnetic, so they're annoying. And you can take off the knights. So it's focus on learning how to use the bishops. And the bishops, they move diagonally. So if this pawn wasn't here, it can move pretty much any black spot. And move there. And this one stays in the white. It can move here. Any number of spaces once. Diagonally. And do -do. there. Can move here. Captures diagonally. Captures diagonally. Captures diagonally. So you probably wouldn't want to move like that, but cool. And the next game would be putting these back. Taking off those pieces and putting on the rooks. These are the rooks. I'm missing one of the white rooks. <laughs> and this pe this rook can move horizontally any number of times. Again, not being able to, it can't jump over things. And it captures the same way. And this brings into the game castling, which you take the king and you move it over two spots. Whoopsie. Move it over two spaces, so one, two, and then bring the rook over. Or it can castle, that's the long castle, so this is a short castle where move over two spots and then move the rook over to the other side. And you're supposed to move your king first two spots so it doesn't look like you're just going like that. Tournament rules. Okay. Another rule is en passant, where if this pawn moves up here, and so you move here, and then you move here, like this pawn, if we were to move like this, move two spots, because it's the first time it's moving, this pawn can capture like that. So it's to be used, like if this pawn is trying to get out of being captured, Trying to move two spots, they have the rule en passant, or you can take it like that. Similarly, if this pawn moved up to, you can take it like that. Or you can choose not to take it. Well, take it or choose not to take it and just move there. Okay. And lastly, there's the full game of chess, and you put all the pieces on the board. Let me do that. 